Hey there, Pisces. What's going on? How are you? Uh, Pisces, I want to thank you guys so much for your time, your energy, your love, your support, your positivity, all of that goodness. Thank you so much for those, those good vibes and everything. Um, we're going to go ahead and jump right into your love messages for the last 10 days of September, okay? So roughly the 21st through the 30th. All right, messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watcher. If you're dealing with the Pisces and you're here to check out their energies, um, this message just could be for you. Uh, if the messages do not resonate, please do not force it. All right, come back later um, or watch another sign from your chart. Okay, but please do not force a story that's not yours. Messages for Pisces and love the last 10, the last 10 days of September of 2021. Pisces and love last 10 days of September 2021. All right, let's go ahead and get one more shuffle. Okay. Hmm. Okay, Pisces. So I'm seeing when I when I look at this energy here, what I see is I feel um I feel really, really great feelings, like um like intense feelings. Okay. So I'm feeling like you and your person, um have like really, really intense feelings for one another. Okay. Um, I also feel like this has been a situation that has probably already come to an end. <clears throat> so what, what I'm saying is I feel like you may be like in separation with your person right now, but you're still feeling very much in love. Okay. And that this is just a time this is a time that you're dealing with. This is, I don't feel like, I feel like this is temporary. Okay. I do have divine timing here. And so I feel like with this energy here is temporary. Um, it's, we have pure heart. We have pure heart next to conflict and divine timing. Okay. So I really get this feeling here. Um, that you could possibly be in separation with this person. I also have ending, but you're still feeling for this person a lot. We have chemistry. You may even also have children with this person or like maybe y'all were discussing having children or family could have been a big part of the reason as to why you both had to separate, okay? Um, I feel like uh, we, have, we have fireworks here. We have passion. So there's a lot of attraction. There's a lot of chemistry, fireworks, passion. Like this, this relationship was... Smoking hot, okay? And furthermore, you have commitment. So you have the both of you wanting to be locked into one another, wanting to connect to one another. I feel like you guys were kind of not forced to separate, but the decision to separate seemed more likely, again, because I think that there may have been... <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, I feel like there may have been maybe certain family obligations that kept them from being 100% into the relationship or, um, I don't know, there was maybe some sort of conflict between you two uh, as it involves like children and co-parenting or something, something to that effect. But I do still see you guys being very much drawn to each other. Um, I don't feel like y'all are a great distance from each other, but what I do feel is I feel like it's the situation is over, like y'all are in separation, but it's like ending and then the pure heart is right on top of each other. So it's like um, y'all are in separation and it's, it's, it's over, right? <laughs> but um, I could definitely still see that there may be like a couple of bit, you know, there may be some run back, some hookups happening between the situation, even though 
even though, um, you know, the uh, seriousness of the relationship may be over or the actual romance of, you know what I mean? Like uh, the the love together in, in commitment, that part might be, you know, kind of, well, yeah, over, but I still see like you guys kind of running back to one another, at least for the physical, um, but not only for the physical, really, it's because you know that you can be 100% yourself. You can 100% let go of this person. There's fireworks, chemistry, passion. So you know that the sex is going to be good. Okay. It's just responsibilities created a lot of conflict within the situation and caused the, the separation or the divide. Um, I definitely feel like there could be a possibility for a reconciliation coming during this time with that divine timing card. Like the divine timing card kind of plays a double role here. It talks about the timing before not necessarily being correct, but the timing now could definitely be that, especially now that it's coming up. Because the ending here, I'm looking at it, it's in the past and what's in the present now is divine timing and family and, and commitment and passion. Okay. So, wow, wow, huge, huge person from your past uh, could be coming back around um, to offer some sort of commitment is what I'm feeling here. Um, offering some sort of commitment, some sort of stability. They may be even telling you that they want to start a family with you. Or like I said, if y'all already have kids, it's like, well, they're coming around to be like, listen, you know, the time is now where, you know, I need to step up to the plate and I need to do the right thing. And we both need to be raising our kids together. You know what I'm saying? So it could be uh, getting over of whatever other conflict, whatever the conflict was. You guys could be getting over it during this next 10 days. I'm going to go ahead and pull some tarot here. shuffle. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I know y'all like, well, he about to oh, wow me to death. Will he just say it? Okay. So, First off here with the tarot, I have the nine of swords. I have the nine of swords, justice, and the three of wands. <coughs> Excuse me. Followed by the, uh, followed under the deck by the eight of cups, the eight of swords, and the fool. So, you know what? This is so crazy because honestly, spirit is just, spirit just put in me, like spirit just said like, it's like the it's like the energy of um, because I'm looking at this eight of cups and this eight of swords matched. And so it was like. The only move you could make, the only way that you could, the only thing, the only thing that you could do before was walk away. That was just the only thing you, your, your hands were tied or so you thought. But. All you could do was walk away. OK. When really all you wanted to do was jump in uh, even more, okay? And so in the present, it's like this nine of swords energy is like, okay, well, this is something that you still think about. This is something that you still go over in your mind even sometimes about, you know? Um, but, with the but with the justice card, with the justice energy here, it makes me feel like, again, in this time, because it is present energies. So in this time, I feel like this is the time when things will begin to settle. Things will begin to balance out and things will be able to happen in its own divine timing as it should. Right. Like, I feel like this justice energy is a like a balancing of the life scales. Right. Like it wasn't ready. Um <clears throat> like it wasn't the right time before, but now it's just right. And it's in your time. It's in 
and it's for you and it's just right for you. It's what's going to settle you. Like, that's what I feel here. Okay. And you could also be dealing with the Libra. Okay. Pisces. Now, this three of wands energy, this is saying like, I feel like a lot of you now are have like before, like I said, um, the, this, okay. So the fool card falls under this three of wands. So it's like, um, like I said before, what you really wanted to do was jump in, but you kind of felt like all you could do was just walk away. Like I said, based off of maybe other responsibilities or other things that, you know, couldn't allow you to commit. But like I said, all you really wanted to do was jump in. But I feel like right now here with this three of wands, you're looking back at the situation and it's like you're saying, mm, OK, I'm, I'm going to wait for them to come back. And it's all it's almost like. It's almost like that's exactly what you did. It's like, you know, in your worrying of did I do the right thing or was I supposed to, you know, like in your worrying and sleepless nights over that, you know, it's funny how it's like you were really just kind of kind of standing there and manifesting and waiting for your time to actually experience the love that it should have been. So it's like, it's so crazy. It's like you wanted to jump in before, but really all you did was walk away. And now spirit is putting you in a position to where really you're just waiting on it to just come back around to you. Okay. So you really don't need to worry. You can walk away from that worry and stress. I feel like a lot of you, a lot of y'all, a lot of situations in separation with, uh, excuse me, a lot of situations with my Pisces people, um, as it involves like separation from their partner, I definitely feel like it some of y'all are going to be receiving some phone calls around this time. Some of y'all are going to be receiving some Facebook messengers, some Snapchat calls, uh, letter in the snail mail, email, something, somebody, uh, telegram. Y'all are going to be getting some sort of communication. Okay. Um, oh, and it's going to be good. Mm. It's going to be good, Pisces, if you go there, if you go there. But I think I think you're gonna go there. <laughs> Let's pull some advice. <laughs> Cause Pisces, y'all playing with me. All right, let's pull some advice. All right, what does Pisces need to know as they move through this energy? Tell me what Pisces needs to know as they move through this energy spirit. Oh. Oh, all right. So, <laughs> separation and time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So spirit is saying, okay, listen, um, most of you, like I said, most of you are already in separation here in the first place. Okay. So some of you, spirit is saying, some of you, this may be what's coming up. Ooh. Oh, okay. Spirit. Some of you are dealing with this in the present, like some, like everything that I just explained about it not being the right time in the past and, you know, and, and all that stuff that I said after that. And I said a lot, um, <laughs> I feel like, like I felt like a lot of that was happening in the past. And, but I feel like with this though, spirit is spirit. Just let me know. Some of you guys are dealing with this in the present. Like this is the, like, this is the time when you're deciding this is the moment when you're having that I can't do nothing but walk away because all I really want to do is jump into the situation, but I can't because of responsibilities. This didn't happen before. Some of you guys are dealing with it right now. Okay. And you're about to get to the point where you're walking away and you're separating. Okay. So that's just, okay, spirit, spirit got me together. Spirit said, no, let, let these people know. Some of these people are dealing with this right now. Some of this, some of these people yeah, some of these people will be having this person come back around to them because of the situation being divine now, as opposed to not the divine timing not being right before. But yeah, believe you me, some of you guys could possibly be dealing with this now. Okay, so hold on. All right, and then the next piece of advice that we have from Spirit is retreat. Okay, retreat, time to disconnect from the world. Both. Pisces, y'all about to go through it. Y'all about to go through a separation. But what I'm telling you is that this person at some point is going to come back around to you. And um, and it will be the right time at that time. Okay? But at this time, 
spirit wants you to disconnect, unplug, relax. Um, you know, repair your mind, you know, prepare yourself even for when this is coming around, when this comes back around. This is so crazy. Oh, my God, Pisces. This is a very, very, very interesting reading. Very, very, very interesting reading. All right. Well, only y'all know where y'all fit, whether it happened in the past or it's happening in the present. Um, you know, for some of you, it could be different. But let me know about it in the comments. All right. Let me know all about it. All right. Uh, make sure you hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And you guys, I will see you in October uh, for the first 10 days of October. So bye.